Hello there, Purple Banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made it here to Sinewood City in order to look for some medicine for Jasmine and Ampharos up in Olivine's Lighthouse. In today's episode, we are actually ready to enter the gym, but before we go ahead and do that, I actually want to show you guys some level ups. You guys told me that I should train up my Pokemon, so I've gone ahead and done that. Aqui went up to level 19, like you guys suggested. Zuko went up to 28. Velos went up to level 27. Sokka went up to level 29. Stripes and Den stayed around the same level because I haven't gotten around to training those two yet. Okay. We, before we enter the gym, we are actually going to take care of one more thing. You guys told me to head up north because we can actually bump into something special. And what is it? It's Suicune! Oh my goodness, Suicune's up here! Oh man, can we catch it this time? Can we throw some Pokeballs at it this time? Or is it just going to stare us in the face and run away once again? Why do you do that to me, Suicune? Hey look, you seen. Who is this? Yo, Rodri. Wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught a glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, Rodri, let's battle now. Rodri versus Usine? What the heck's going on here? All right, so you were challenged by mysterious man Usine. This dude wants to battle us in order to gain some respect. So how about we go ahead and show him that he's not going to be gaining much off of us? All right, Aqui's up in front. Oh, man, Aqui's up in front. Time to switch out. This dude is a psychic type, so I'm gonna go ahead and send out Veloz. Veloz needs to get in there and the action get in the mix and start flowing. Alright, Veloz, let's do this. It went for a hypnosis. It missed. Thank goodness. Let's go for the bite. Let's see if we can actually get a KO or something of the sorts, please. Oh, close, close, close. Let's hope that it doesn't... Oh, it flinched. Fantastic. That's gonna give us the upper hand. We're gonna be able to take it down. And there goes Drowsy. See you later, Drowsy. Hasta la vista. Alright, its first Pokemon is down. Aqui gained some XP. Veloz gain some XP as well. Mystery Man's gonna send out Electrode. Ooh, Electrode. I don't know if I really want to be messing with that. Who should I send out to mess with the Electrode? I'm gonna go ahead and send out Sokka. Sokka should be able to handle Electrode quite nicely and I don't think it'll be giving us too much trouble. So here we go. Go for it, Sokka. Let's see if you can take down this Electrode. I, I don't know what noise it actually makes. I'm just used to making the other one. Oh, uh, as you can see now that I'm, we're actually on the move screen, Sokka learned Counter while we were training it. So pretty sweet move. Uh, decided to get rid of Endure. I was like, you know what? I think counter is going to come in a bit more handy, so I went ahead and learned that. Sock is going to go for the brick break. Let's see if we can brick break this electrode shell and KO it and knock it out. Oh, no, 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 no. We are paralyzed. That's not good. Let's just hope that we can get one more move off and hopefully take it out. Sokka's paralyzed. It can't move. Fantastic. Neither of us were able to land an attack there. I think Sokka's got it. I don't know what exactly it is when Sokka's pumping itself like that, uh, but it tends to do that once in a while when we're using moves. So I'm not sure what it is, but Electrode is down. Very, very nice. Down for the count. So sweet deal. Sokka gained a crap load of XP. Um, Haunter's going to be coming out. I'm actually going to switch out. Let's sound out Velos again. Hopefully Velos will be able to take it. You know, let's Let's use Bite, let's use that Dark, and let's take out this freaking ghost type Pokemon. We've already dealt with plenty of them in the past couple gyms, and I don't want to be dealing with any more. Alright, let's go for the Bite. Let's see how much damage I'm going to be able to do. Can we KO it? KO'd! We hit a crit, and it is out! See you later, Hunter. Bye-bye! See you later! Velos went up to level 28, and very nice! So that's it for seen See you later, seen We defeated Mystery Man seen I hate to admit it, but you win. We got 3,240 for winning. Woohoo, about time. Holy crap. Okay, so, oh my gosh, Velos is actually evolving. Oh my goodness, I didn't think it was going to be this early. I thought it was going to be like level 30, but Velos is evolving. Woo, at long last, here comes the third stage, the big evolution, the one we've been waiting for. And Velos has turned into a pretty, pretty bat. What is this thing? What is it called? Congratulations, your Velos evolved into Crobat. So we have a Crobat now, guys. That is absolutely amazing. We have a Crobat. Holy crap. You're amazing, Rodri. I'm starting to understand why Suicune was keeping an eye on you. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. See you around. See you later, dude. And we freaking just got a Crobat on our team. So fantastic. We should be able to kick this gym's butt now with our Crobat. All right, I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon very quickly. And then we're going to be ready to enter this gym. Be back with you guys in a couple seconds. Yes, mother, I'm excited that we got a Crobat too, but right now is not the time to be calling me. So sweet, we got a Crobat. I'm still pumped. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness, I, I honestly didn't think it was going to happen this early. But now we are ready to enter Cyanwood City's Pokemon Gym, take on the leader Chuck, his roaring fists do the talking. Ooh, this is going to be real exciting. All right, so we made it inside and is, is this Chuck? 
He's so into his training, he doesn't seem to notice you. He doesn't notice me. Where's where's the guy that works here? Is he still at the medicine shop? Oh, that guy, he's over there paying off his bills. Okay, so I think... This is really strange, actually. I don't remember any of this whatsoever from uh, when I played gold. I think it was completely different in gold. I'm not sure, because I do not remember this at all. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to take down a couple trainers. So here's the first one we're going to have to take on. There's a machine up there, so I guess we'll figure out what to do. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. I don't know who this is, but we're going to talk like this, I guess. So here we go. We're going to take on the first trainer. We are challenged by Black Belt Knob. Ooh, he looks intense. He looks like he's ready to fight. He's ready to rumble and machop is out okay so now i am actually gonna switch out and there's actually two things i want to do first of all i want to switch out Veloz. i want to see this crowbat in action i want to see what it can do so Veloz is out look at that crowbat that is absolutely incredible i'm so happy that we finally have a third stage pokemon ready to go and it barely did anything with us all right we should be able to completely run through this gym now with Veloz being level 28 and third phase we got this guys look at that Ooh, super effective ko to level 25 and we are gonna be rolling in the dough so very sweet black belt knob is gonna send out machoke no i'm just gonna keep out Veloz, and i'm just gonna keep gaining as much xp as possible i'm hoping Veloz will get up to around level 30 by the time this gym is done and, and I, I can see that that's actually pretty pretty doable so there we go we went for the second one Ooh, machoke was almost down uh machoke's gonna use the karate chop on us that did nothing dude you you hit me for two come on man you got some better moves in there machoke and that was it we are running through this gym and that is exactly what i'm talking about this is so exciting i just i'm gonna be pumped for the rest of this because like you know we got ourselves an amazing pokemon and now i'm, I'm am i at a, at a dead end what is going on why why can't i get out oh goodness is there something i have to do on both sides maybe let's see there's a guy over here maybe i took the wrong path all right maybe we have to battle this guy up here too is there something up there? All right, I'm going to talk to this one this way so then he doesn't run at me and then, like, cut me off and all that stuff. So here we go. We're going to take on the second guy here in this gym, Black Belt Lao. Lao, Lao. All right, Hitmonchan is coming out, and Hitmonchan is striking and punching, and Hitmonchan is ready and pretty excited for this. It's a level 27, so it's definitely going up in levels now. I'm actually going to switch out to Sokka this time because if you guys remember, Sokka actually has a flying-type move. Yes, but Sokka's a fighting type and has a flying type move. This guy has fire punch. Oh, no. Okay, wait, that actually didn't do too much. I, I thought it was going to do a little more. Okay, Hitmonchan went for the max punch. That's probably going to hurt a little bit. Not as much as I thought. And now we're going to go for the Aerial Ace and hopefully KO it. Um, you know, Aerial Ace is actually a really strong move, so I wouldn't be surprised, you know. Ooh, I don't know if this thing's going to be able to KO me. I'm going to go for the Aerial Ace. We have more speed on it, so goodbye. See you later, Hitmonchan. Bye-bye. See you later, buddy. Hitmonchan is down. Very nice. Aqui gained some XP. Aqui grew to level 20. Fantastic. Sokka gained some XP. And we defeated Black Belt Leo. Very nice. That's shocking. We got 648 for winning. Good job, everybody. And oh, you sneaky, sneaky man. Banditos. That's why you told me to train Aqui to level 19 because Aqui is evolving. Very sweet. Aqui is actually going to evolve into something that I don't know and it's turning into something bigger and stronger and faster. And woohoo, look at this thing. Oh yeah, clap its hands. Congratulations, your Aqui evolved into Quagsire. So very nice. We got ourselves a Quagsire. That's pretty cool. That is very, very neato. And look, it's a big blue thing now. It's so huge. It's so huge. We got a Quagsire and a freaking Crobat today that is that is very exciting okay this guy what is this guy doing can i jump across what you can run under this i did not realize that i uh, who the heck invented that i didn't realize that whatsoever all right what is this can i push this there's a large winch will you turn it yeah sure thing what is turning it gonna do i have no idea i guess we're gonna figure it out oh and look okay so that raised it and I'm pretty sure Chuck will be able to talk to us now. All right, before we... Oh, wait, I got to run this way now? Yes, okay, so we did do, do this correctly. Good for us, we did do it correctly. All right, before we actually talk, talk to the big guy in the center, I actually want to heal up my Pokemon a little bit. All right, so where is my potions? I know I bought a lot of super potions, so I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon before we get this going. Actually, just Sokka, really. And now that uh, Quagsire's evolved, you guys are so sneaky. You're always telling me, like, yo, train it to this level. Oh, I know why now. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and put out Veloz up in front. And then Veloz and Sokka should pretty much be able to take down this gym on their own. So here we go. Are you guys ready? Ooh, the pounding waterfall right onto my head. Ah, oh, why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training. I have to warn you that I am a strong trainer training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. 
Come on, we shall do battle. Here we go, Rodri versus Chuck, Cyanwood City's gym leader who uses fighting type Pokemon. Are you guys ready for this? We're gonna take down Chuck and he's pooping. He's fighting us. He just did the little fisty action. We've been challenged by leader Chuck, who's gonna send out Primeape. I'm gonna send out Velos and now the battle is on its way. The battle to see who's gonna come out victorious and who's gonna be the strongest controller of the fighting types. Even though I only have one, this dude probably has like eight or some craziness. No, not Rockstar. Oh! Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I thought that was going to be, like, crazy effective on me and, like, KO me or something like that. But Primeape is down. Fantastic. The first Pokemon is out of here. See you later. I wonder what else Chuck has in store because I really, really don't know. All right, Chuck's gonna send out Polyrath. It is time for me to switch out and bring in Sokka. Sokka's pretty good against water types, so Sokka should be able to handle it quite, quite nicely. All right, here we go. Sokka versus Polyrath. Polyrath, Polyrath. It's level 31. We haven't lost yet. Woo, best of luck to you, buddy. All right, I'm gonna go for the Aerial Ace, and we'll see how much the Aerial Ace does to it. I'm actually not sure how much it'll do to it. Uh, hopefully a decent amount. That actually wasn't too bad, and it was super effective. So very, very good. All right, Polyrath is gonna go for the Body Slam, and then that actually didn't do a whole bunch. I think it's probably best that we send out Sokka against the Polyrath um, because we'll be able to be quite effective on it. So sweet, super effective. Um, has a berry or something, am I guessing? Uh, is, that, is that what's happening? Uh, yeah, the first Polyrath restored with a Citrus Berry. The post Polyrath went for a surf and it's trying to surf on top of me. And that actually didn't do that much damage. All right, here we go. Another Aerial Ace. If we can hit a crit, we'll be able to KO it. If not, uh, I'm guessing Chuck probably has like a super restore or something over there. The Foes Polyrath went for a Hypnosis. Of course it did. What else can we expect? All right. No, not yet. All right, no, not yet. We, we won't wake up yet. What, what are you trying to say, Chuck? I'm going to go for the Super Potion first, and then maybe we will wake up. I don't know, but we're going to throw out the Super Potion, hopefully heal up a little bit, and then if we don't wake up uh, in time, I'll probably just throw out the Awakening because I'm pretty sure I have a couple. Yep, Chuck went for a Hyper Potion. We'll throw out the Awakening, and then we should be able to get this going. All right, let me go find the Awakening we've bought. Um, I oh, oh, yeah, there we go. I bought like five. I was like, no, they are not getting me with the sleeping any longer. All right, we used the Awakening on our Sokka. And then let's see if we'll actually be able to make some damage on this Polyrath. Polyrath went for another body slam. Oh, why is this happening? Woo! Okay, okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Oh, I don't know what move to use. I'm just going to keep using Aerial Ace. Um, the first Polyrath is going to go for a Surf. That's probably going to do some good damage. And we are paralyzed now, which is not good for us. Not good for us at all. Uh, but what I'm thinking is we'll probably just go as long as Sokka can. And then probably switch out to Velos. And then we'll see if Velos can do it then. Because uh, we, are not, we are not doing very well right now. It's actually getting pretty dang difficult to keep up with Chuck's moves. Chuck's a, Chuck's a very strong leader. You guys were dead on on that one. You were telling me to train up because it was going to be a tough fight and it, it really is i i was a, a little overconfident in it probably hoping that we could just come in and just take it out all right it went for a body slam let's see mm, i'm gonna go for the aerial ace once again hopefully we'll be able to freaking start going um Sokka's paralyzed and it can't move dude the paralysis cannot be this strong all right here we go false post polyrath went for another surf dang that's actually doing a lot of damage do I have a paralysis heal? I don't. I don't have a paralysis heal. What does this berry do? Let's see. Uh, no poison. Uh, not much we can do, but kind of hope that Sokka lands a move. A crit, actually. And then if Sokka gets KO'd, then we'll bring out Velos. I mean, that's all we can really do here at this moment. All right, we're going to go for the Aerial Ace. Uh, that actually did a decent amount of damage. Mm, I don't want Sokka to die, though. I kind of feel bad leaving Sokka out there to die. So I'm going to go ahead and use another Super Potion. I just really want Sokka to take this down. This is a challenge for us. And this is what the gym battles should be. They should be tough. They should be crazy. And we should be able to overcome them and earn ourselves a badge. All right, it went for a Body Slam. Ooh, that did a good amount. Come on, Sokka, please. Sokka, snap out of it. Sokka, wake up. Stop getting paralysis. Sokka went for the aerial ace. Very nice. Come on, weaken it. Get it down to half. Get it down to half. Woo, super effective. This is nuts. I can't believe we're still alive. I honestly thought this thing would have KO'd us by now. But oh well, we are coming out on top. If it threw out two serves, it could probably KO me. But I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be smart enough to actually do that on its own. All right, the first Polyrath is going for the body slam. It, it's been doing a lot of that body slam surf combo. A lot of that. It went up for another surf. See? That's all it keeps doing is like body slam surf. Body slam surf. It just really loves using that combo. And now we're going to go for the aerial ace. And let's see if we can get some real damage. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Did I go? Oh, one HP. What? Oh man. Oh man. What do I do here? What do I do? 
Do we heal up? Yes, we heal up and then we go for it. That sounds good. That sounds good. Because if we are, if we, no, it probably has another hyper potion in that bag. Chuck's got to have something under there. Chuck's got something else prepared. There's no way Chuck will give up this easy. That's what I thought. Chuck's got another hyper potion. You know what? Hmm, I wonder what counter does. <laughs> I wonder what it does exactly. I'm going to use it. I have no idea what it does. We've never used it before. Um, I, I've honest, I'm honestly not that crazy good with using it, but we're about- Oh, no, 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 no! Why am I still paralyzed? All right, we're going to keep trying to use counter while the first polyrath is using surf. Oh, great. Did you KO me yet? But it failed. Counter failed. Fantastic. You know what? We're going to just- Hope that, you know, here we go. We're going to get KO'd. We're going to bring out Velos, and Velos should be able to handle this unless we, unless we start getting trumped really bad. All right, Velos is going to come out. Velos is actually at 47 HP, so it might be a little bit more of a challenge, but we're going to throw out the wing attack. All right, here we go. Let's see how much we can do. Dude, let's do some good damage, Velos. Let's go. Get it down. That was actually a really good hit. Uh, Foe's Polyrath's going to go for a body slam. That's actually probably going to do a lot of damage. That did. And, of course, we're paralyzed again. Oh, man, this is just a cycle. This is just a freaking cycle. Chuck paralyzing with his big polyrath and his body slamming, paralyzing us from all that nasty smell. All right, here we go. Polyrath is going to go for a surf. I doubt that'll do that much damage, but we're about to see. Okay, that didn't do too much. If we can actually get off some wing attacks, we'll be completely fine. I cannot believe this freaking polyrath is this strong. Like, who, who trains this thing? Like, come on, dude. All right, polyrath. Holy crap, we almost got it down. All right, can we please get it down with, like, one more super potion? That's all I'm hoping for. Please, please, everybody, put your hands together here and hope that we can tank it out, that Polyrath doesn't crit us, and then that we're able to take it down. All right, the foes Polyrath went for a surf. How much damage is that going to do to me exactly? Def. All right, let's hope we can land a swing attack. If not, things are about to get real, real difficult right here. All right, 14 HP. We're going to go for the wing attack, and that should be it. See you later, Polyrath. Woo! Okay, so sweet. The Polyrath is down. That is, that is fantastic. We gained a crap ton of XP over a K, which is just absolutely amazing. And we defeated Chuck at long last. We lost. We got 3,720 for winning. Hmm, I lost. How about that? All right, you're worthy of the Storm Badge. We received the Storm Badge from Chuck. That's the fifth out of eight badges here in the Johto region. Three more to go. Woo! The Storm Badge lets your Pokemon fly to any city or town you've already been to. Here, take this too. We obtained the TM01. Very sweet, we got TM01. That is Focus Punch. It doesn't land if your foe you're attacking hits you first, but it's very powerful if it manages to hit. Wahaha, well, I enjoy battling you, but a loss is a loss. From now on, I'm going to train 24 hours a day. See you later, Chucky! Woo! So I guess we have beat Chuck's butt, and there's a lady here talking to us. That sign was gym badge. Then you should take this HM. We obtained HM02, and I know what HM that is. I've been waiting for this HM the whole game. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You will be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. And at long last, we have gotten fly. Fly is going to come in so, so handy. Okay, one more thing before we finish this up. Let me know if I should teach fly to Los and get rid of wing attack or, you know, whatever you guys think will be best. Your tips are fantastic and they've been helping me throughout this nonstop. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to make our way back to Olivine City, help Jasmine up in the lighthouse and see if maybe she'll give us a battle. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.